OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we'll be putting an additional hard drive into a PowerMac G5. The model we'll be demonstrating with is a PowerMac G5 1.8 GHz late 2004 model, but these steps will apply to any model G5. The first thing to do is to shut down the machine and unplug all cables from the unit. Next, lift the door release lever at the rear of the machine and remove the side door panel. For the purpose of cutting down on glare for this video, we'll remove the air baffle from the machine. This step, however, is not necessary to install the hard drive. Both hard drive bays are located in the upper right portion of the computer. Apple supplies the additional screw mounts necessary to install the drive here on the left side of the drive bays. You will need to remove these mounts. On some machines they are screwed in, on others the screws can be pushed out as the holes may or may not be threaded. If in doubt, use the number 2 screwdriver. On your new 3.5 inch SATA drive, attach the four screw in mounts you just removed to the four outermost screw holes. Once they are attached, they will act as guides and mount points while installing. There are three sets of tracks in the drive bay. The top two are for the existing drive. The bottom slide is where the second drive will sit. Simply slide the drive all the way into the bottom set of guides so that the connections on the drive are towards the left and facing you. There are no additional cables necessary as Apple provides them for you. Pull outward on each of the two cables to loosen them from their stored position underneath the drive tray. You do not need to pull them out very far, just enough to connect the data cable and the power cable to the back of the drive. The connections only fit one way, so don't worry about plugging the cables in the wrong direction. To secure the drive, rotate the gray latching knob marked B so that it's positioned horizontally. We are now ready to close the machine. First, replace the air baffle if you removed it. Then, reattach and lock the access door panel. Now, all that is left to do is to plug the cables back in and turn the machine on.